Hey everybody, Keith K here and welcome back to the South Pacific. We are here with another Stranded Deep playthrough. Uh, this is part two of Surviving Your First Day. If you missed part one, uh, you may want to go back and, and watch that first. We were just about to begin working on some a source of fresh water and uh, that starts with finding a coconut. So we're going to head over this way and get started on that. So there's some coconuts here and we're just going to Come close to the tree, press space so you can climb up it. And sometimes it gets pretty finicky. If you're, you have to approach it from a separate angle. All right, let's see if we can get it this time. Oh, and you can get hurt. There we go. Press E. Got our coconut. So you're going to want to drop it. Grab your refined knife. And let's take a look. Uh, yep, we could definitely use some water. So we'll hit that until it changes to a drinkable coconut. We'll pick it up. We'll grab it. And then we'll just drink with our left mouse button. So again, we've got exactly three on our hydration and now we have four okay so we will just drop this here we can eat the coconut uh, if we split it in half but right now well hey, let's go ahead and do that um, I'll just show you you don't want to eat too much coconut and you don't want to drink too much of the coconut water uh, I don't know if this has changed but it would make you sick at one point you really want to make sure you're getting fresh water. Um, so that's going to be our next priority. Let's take a look and see. It says cooked small crab meat. So now we can hold E, conserve our fuel. We'll grab that. Let's see. Yeah, we could actually stand and eat it. So we're almost full now. All right, so next we do need to get a water stilt going. To do that, we are going to need uh, palm fronds and another coconut. And to chop the tree down to get the palm fronds, we are going to need a crude axe. So we need a lashing, a stick, and two more stone tools. So let's go over to our stone. We'll quick, quick craft one, two. We don't have any lashings in our inventory, so we will quick craft a lashing. And now, because as you can see in our inventory, we still have sticks, we're able to craft a crude axe. It's gonna force us to drop it. Um, and it might be because we're full. So let's just drop this rock and let's get rid of all this stuff. Um, I just. We can just pile it all up here until we're ready to take it somewhere. Like I said before, you can even just leave it until you're ready to come back to this island um, and gather some more of the resources. <clears throat> so let's uh, find a tree with a coconut on it. Maybe this little one will have a coconut. Yeah, so let's cut this tree down. So you're just going to hit the tree with the axe it goes over okay we saw the coconut fall it's under here somewhere first we need to separate the palm top from the rest of the tree now if we pick this up you can see there's the palm the palm top of the tree and there's a log on a longer tree you'll have to break these into sections our coconut, you gotta, that's one thing you gotta watch out for is the coconut will roll away. Um, so let's just pick this log up for now and we'll pick the palm frond up. And we'll hustle over here. All right, so they still don't have the um, an icon for this in the inventory, but let's go ahead and drop it. And we might as well drop the log too. Uh, we'll put it by the fire. OK. 
Okay. So, let's break this up. Now, they're going to want us to craft a shelter, but before we do that, let's make sure we're dealing with our water situation. Um, fresh water is the most significant non-renewable resource that you've got to take care of. Uh, well, it's renewable once you build a water still, but you can't just find water on these islands. You used to be able to get a bucket uh, and catch, capture rainwater, but that's gone away for a while now. So you can see we're going to need uh, three rocks, one cloth, one lashing, one palm frond, and one of these coconut flasks. So you can find the coconut flask under consumables, I believe. Yeah, so we need a lashing and a coconut. So let's deal with this first. So we've got our coconut and we've got plenty of fibrous leaves. This is what I'm saying. You want to get as many of these as you can uh, early on. So we'll craft our lashing first, then our coconut flask. Now, uh, I've made this mistake many times. I've run over and built the water still right away. But what you can do actually is Let's see how we're doing on hydration. So we could use some hydration. There is a serving in here already. So I go back to this. You can see there's one serving in here. So let's go ahead and drink that. Otherwise you lose that serving of fresh water, which you really don't want to. Uh, and now you'll see it has zero servings, okay? So you don't need a full uh, flask to, do, to create that water still. So let's grab one palm frond. Got our cloth. And I think that may be everything. No, nope. what do we need? We still need... I thought I made a lot. Oh, the lashing got used up to make uh, the coconut container here. So we need another lashing. And now we should see... The water still... Yeah, we've got a coconut flask, a palm front, a lashing, a cloth, and three rocks. Oh, we have to hit level two. All right, well, let's keep going through the tutorial. We're ready here. Um, last time I did that, I did not have to do that, but it's probably been an awful long time. So to craft a shelter, we need three sticks, four fronds, and another lashing. So let's build, or let's craft one more lashing. Uh, and let's go ahead. Now to get the sticks that we need, we're going to break this log up. Okay. What else do we need now for our shelter? Three sticks, four fronds. So one, two, three. Sometimes they're not right together or you're not able to look at it, it doesn't give you credit for having them nearby. So we'll just put it up here, it's a little bit higher land, not that that actually matters. So now we've leveled up. So the most important part about getting this shelter made is now we can save. Right, and at this point you could leave the game if you want. Uh, but let's get to the point where we've got our still built and we'll, we'll probably wrap it up at that point. So we still have a frond. We didn't use all of them. And we need our three rocks. Let's see what else do we have. We've got our lashing, we've got our cloth, and we have our coconut flask. So we can create the water still. And you can put this anywhere. I think, you know, maybe in real life you'd want it out um, in the sun. Now, you can see there's one palm frond here. And the circle shows you how full it is from a fuel, quote unquote, fuel perspective. Uh, right now, there's nothing in it to drink. So you can put more palm fronds in here as you cut trees down. But the palm trees don't grow back in the course of the game. So you're going to depend on having enough fibrous leaves. And you can see you can use those to refill the you know quote unquote fuel uh, it's not really fuel but it's what fills the collector 
So while we wait for that to fill up, uh, let's take a look again at what we have in here. Uh, we have a leather strap, so that can actually be useful in creating a better axe. Uh, let's see, the refined axe. We need another stone tool plus the axe that we already have uh, and the one leather. Um, and it's definitely worth doing that. Only thing might be... Yeah. Uh, you, don't wanna, you don't want the durability of your axe to be too low. So we'll create, create another stone tool and then we can create a refined axe, which is a little more efficient when it comes to uh, cutting these trees down. So now we're pretty much ready. We could start to go to these other islands. I'll save that for another video. Uh, we're going to do a little harvesting. Oh, did you hear that? So that is, the water still now has one drink in it. So we are just a little bit above three. We can now drink that, and now we're a little bit above four. So at this point, you can you have a steady supply of fresh water, and unlike the coconut, uh, it won't make you sick. If that's still in the game, I'm not certain, but you can't transport anything. So if you wanted to transport water, which we will want to bring some with us before we go to the next island, um, I usually do create another uh empty coconut flask as long as I have enough uh, fibrous leaves. So we only have two and as a reminder to create uh, it's a consumable actually a coconut flask we need a lashing and the lashing takes four fibrous leaves. So we either need to find more fibrous leaves or um, we wait until um, they respawn or we just go over to the next island because there will be a lot there um, but if we look I see some here yep there's plenty this is why I recommend hitting these uh, right away you know in in the game getting right to the fibrous leaves and collect as much as you can because you will need them pretty soon again right and if they get a chance to respawn all the better for you uh, and then like I said for for the most part leave all the other plants alone maybe make a note of what's here um, until you can get farming up and running so that you know you don't just use them all up I would wait so I think we'll wrap it up here uh, the next um, tutorial that I'll uh, or playthrough that I'll record for us will uh, be to go start our base on one of these nearby islands. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and got something out of it please do consider subscribing and give us a like. Uh, that will ensure that the channel uh, stays healthy and um, you know I will continue to uh, work on these playthroughs but uh, I will for sure uh, do a few more just to get you up and running. I'm not sure if I'll go all the way to fighting one of the bosses, but um, yeah, I guess one last thing is you can kind of comb your beach here and f make sure you found all the materials that are around. All right, well, that's it for today. Thank you uh, again for watching and um, we'll see you back here soon.